it's a good evening now, actually, for hearing a bird. Um, we have confirmation of a bird in here, um, four different people. This is the first time that a bird's been confirmed in maybe 10 years. I remember as a child, um, birds calling all summer long. You're talking about hundreds and hundreds in an area, gone. Intensive farming, unfortunately, that's what did it. they have been pushed to areas like this, into the margins where this isn't a bit of farming ground as such, but over, over the brow of the hill it is, so it's more traditional methods. But you can see that the field is characterised by typical species that corncrake are looking for. There's quite a bit of nettles. There's, there's a good bit of grass growth here, but there's quite a lot of nettles growing along the edge, and that's ideal early cover for corncrakes. Traditional hay meadows and pastures rich in plant species and insects, give the corncrakes a place to nest, a place to feed and a place to hide. And when we've just worked with nature now this past six or seven years to let nature show us how the land should be and twisted with that is it's actually becoming a better area for the corncrake yeah. to come to. The corncrake always came here but he's kind of pushed out because of farming practice, modernization as we all know. But we've left areas here now um, to nature. Now every year we take some of the plants from the nettle stalks out and we plant them out a bit further to try and encourage it to come out and it's, it's working. Hopefully another year or two and the whole, the whole thing will be right out. It's a lot of work guy but ah, it's worthwhile. Last year we had like we've had a bird here every year for the six years since we started in this patch. The second year sorry the first the second year the bird came to it and he's been here every year so it's worth the work, it's worth the while. Our project team will work with farmers and landowners in the Corncrake's remaining strongholds across Donegal, Mayo and Galway. This is an incredible grassland ecologically, but Shawnee rightly looks at that grassland from a farmer's perspective, so it, it's not very productive. But what Shawnee is actually producing here is what he was saying is he's starting to stop being a sheep farmer and starting to be an environmental farmer and he needs to be rightly rewarded for that because he is providing here public goods and services that he's not really being rewarded for and he needs to be rewarded for that. There is a shift towards environmental type farming. Uh, maybe we have to just jump on the, on the, on the train or the bus as well and, and do our part like on that one. It looks like maybe I'm going to be a corn creek farmer rather than a livestock farmer. In, in the years ahead, maybe that's the way it's all going. <laughs>